But yeah, so what happened there effectively is we we started in a monster den. I had no AoEs. And Sharoma is like, all right, time to fight. And it's like, no, you idiot. Run. And she'll just sit there battling forever and then oh. die. And then that one dude just shows up and just starts taking my shit. Ooh, but we get we got some steel talons from that. So I'll take it. Let's see. I'm gonna hold on to some of these. I'll sell the remedy. We might want to deposit some of this money. Oh, uh, does he have any more teleport wings? Howdy. They are pricey, but they are worth it. But yeah, it was a monster den filled with nothing but warp traps, which sucks. Hey, All right. Uh, let's see. We want to do items. Okay, I want to hey, test something. Own. My blind talons are maxed. Okay, I want to try see what this does. It'll be weakened. Yes. Okay, so they're now plus nine. Dang. So what happens if it's weakened? Freaking, I don't know. Whatever. Fuse. Steel talons with the blind talons. Which... Seems to work, no problem. Okay, well that works out. I'm just gonna be uh nice and decked out. I mean that's a massive massive damage bonus. Uh let's see, what is my attack now? It's better. Let's see, monster deads do have a lot of hidden traps. Yeah, I it's fair. We've only had a couple, and I usually, usually have already cleared out all the monsters, and, you know, Sharoma doesn't get, you know, steamrolled. Because the main problem was the, the buddy AI has no self-preservation. It's just like, well, time to die. Let's see, did I actually equip my gear? Interesting question. I will in a second. I mean, I still have it. It's not like it's gone from my inventory or anything like that. Okay, items, water saddle. Items, steel talons. You. Well, I think I'm tougher. We need a little bit more JP and then we'll be in a really good spot here. Yeah, shame my regular attack does not have the level of power, uh, level of damage that power smack affords. Get away. How many buddy points left to unlock Ifrit? I didn't even think of that. One more buddy point to unlock Ifrit. If I so chose. I didn't even I didn't even think about that. Uh can you summon Phoenix, actually? Because I feel like Phoenix would have maybe that healing fire. Cause yeah, I'd prefer to have like a healer support. I guess actually Ifrit has a heal support now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know which one he would use though. If it would not be useful here, you were correct on that one.
I guess if I rolled white mage, if it wouldn't be that bad. But still. Oh, right. We need, uh... We need to get my hands on... Oh, that just died. Just a smidge more JP. I should probably stick around a little bit. Let's see. Phoenix doesn't do damage. It just heals you and gives you auto raise. I mean, that's not bad. I guess we can check that in the buddy registry as well. Yeah, so I'd have to go kill Phoenix seven more times. But still... Being able to, uh, being able to just get healed frequently and auto raise would be lovely. I don't know. It's a long stream wander. You're getting some overtime for this. Keep up the good work. I mean, sort of. Technically, I'm paid for everything that I do. Uh, to some capacity. We are getting bopkiss for JP here. It sucks. But yeah, I'm going to PAX, uh... In... On Wednesday. There we go. Okay, so what's my new ability? Circle Slash. Oh, that would be nice. Would have been nice for the, uh, the monster room, honestly. But, uh, so yeah, I'm going to PAX on Wednesday, uh, which is going to throw my entire schedule and everything out of, out of whack. And so it's going to make my life a little harder. Sort of harder? I mean, honestly, it's not that big of a deal, but it, it will impact. Let's see. I haven't mentioned that I got this game for free. That is a good point. Oh, shoot. I edited up all the episodes, but I forgot to add the uh, the thing. Can somebody actually ping me on Discord about that? Uh, to put the disclaimer on my videos? Let's see. Am I recording anything in PAX? Uh, supposedly EDF Iron Rain? And a couple other, like, indie games. I... Technically, what I could do is schedule a whole bunch of, like... I could schedule a whole bunch of, like, interview meeting recording sessions with a lot of developers. But I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, two reminders is better than one. Yeah, it'll make it easier for me to keep up with. But, um... Yeah, and thank you, guys. Uh, let's see. But EDF Iron Rain is the one that I specifically scheduled because that's the one I've specifically, you know, can't wait to play. Which, conveniently, it comes out more or less as soon as I get back. So, you know, I'll be able to put out a video or two being like, EDF! And then, you know, I'll actually be able to play it, play it for realsies. I might see if I can, like, uh, if I can sucker Joe into playing EDF with me. See if I can take over his, like, morning-ish streams. Be like, we play EDF. Because I bet duoing it would actually work pretty well. Oh, let's see. Or would I do a vlog of PAX? Eh, maybe? I'm not much of a vlog channel. I guess I did for uh, PAX West. Might be able to convince some of the stumped crew as well. Maybe? The one thing with the... Uh, with the stumped crew... Is they're busy? I don't know. Uh, I gotta bug Price about stuff, but... Like, I wanna go back and play, like, Saints Row with Price or something, may maybe. They don't really do long series as much as I do. I guess, uh, Guardian of the Water. That's oh, Shiva. It's not Guardian of Water, you hack. 
Owie. Uh, items. Well, this sucks. Oh, I see. They're like landmines. Might as well cure here. Yeah, she seems to be hitting Sharoma. Which is a pain. Okay, uh, let's see. Point down at Sharoma. Chuck a... Chuck a high potion her direction. Now, don't skate away on me. I like the fact that she actually has, like, a skating animation. That's kind of cool. Okay, that's some good poison. That's some real good poison. Chief is actually the worst thing ever in hard mode for you right now. I can imagine... It's a little bit more palatable because I've got a pocket healer, but... It is tough. It doesn't help the the pocket healer is kind of daft. Okay. Diamond dust. Ouch. Wait, I had the Phoenix thing. Well, shit, that was a lot of money lost. Wait, all of my items? I thought I had this on regular mode. Like I thought, uh, I thought the difficulty said it. Oh, it's only if you use the Phoenix Magicite. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have gotten rid of that Phoenix down. Well, I guess we'll save. I'm not going back. Man, that sucks. Oh, hard mode, you lose all equipped items. Cripes. I mean, it's not actually that big of a deal. Phoenix Magicite is not that much. That's just real butts. If I was rolling Dragoon, we'd probably be fine, because I could have just been ice lancing her the entire time. You need to use the Phoenix Down or Phoenix Magicite before dying for it to work. It didn't really explain that well, because the Phoenix Phoenix Down is just like, it works once per level, and it's like, okay. But no, I, I set the difficulty to the lower level. But no, I, everything I had, like, okay, it sucks to lose, but whatever. Like, I can get almost all of that back. 
And honestly, as I get stronger, it's not so bad either. Let's see, ignore shop and dual traps from now on. Uh, for this dungeon at least, freaking Shiva... Shiva's something we're gonna have to leave for later. But yeah, if I need to farm the Phoenix Magicite, I absolutely can. Like, I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, losing your equipped items would be pretty annoying. Not like impossible to work with, but... Ugh. That's one thing I don't... I'm not sure if I really agree with design-wise for these games. It's like... Here's a punishment for failure, and now to just go play the game more. I I guess it's not terrible, but like I don't need I don't need an excuse to Well, okay. When a mechanic actively punishes you for an acti actively punishes you like that, it generally makes me want to play the game less, not more. Uh, Dark Souls, I think, is the only one that ever actually managed to do this well. Well, Dark Souls and roguelikes. In Dark Souls, your stuff's on the ground there. You can go get it. You know, so there's that, like, lasting, oh, but, you know, I can go rescue it. Which I think is a really, really brilliant way of doing things. Uh, and roguelikes are just like, well, the runs are so short, it doesn't even matter. It's always been like that in any roguelike game. Except for roguelikes are short. Sort of. Uh, modern roguelikes are short. I, there's a reason why you don't see me playing uh, Caves of Cud or Tales of Maje all that often. But you will see me playing Wizard of Legend left and right. Obviously, you know, they're not true roguelikes. But whatever, semantics. Uh, but like, I used to play a lot of NetHack. And yeah, whenever I would die after, like, a particularly good run, I would put the game down for, like, a year. And I generally wouldn't come back to it. Let's see, Diablo 2 did that with all of your gear dropping at your feet. The Chikobo's death penalty is actually on the tamer side for Mystery Dungeon games. Oh, I'm, I'm well aware. Slow burner. Oh. Slow him down and knock him back. That's kind of neat. I generally don't play mystery dungeon games. There aren't that many of them to begin with. Uh. See, fire would probably wreck her. Uh, yeah, fire absolutely would do some horrible things. It's just a matter of like, I don't really want to fight her. So you Pokemon Explorers of the Sky, you lose one quarter of your items and money. That's not terrible. I don't know. There's a bunch of different ways that it could be done. Wow, slow burner is just death. That's kind of nice. I bet that would actually work decently well against Shiva as well. Oh, let's see, we'll get more messenger recorded by Pax. Probably? Uh, I... I was considering doing more more of it today, but I, I don't know if I'm going to make it. The problem is, like, my hand was starting to kind of hurt, and I've got to... i got to figure out exactly what my schedule is going to be and footage. Because I've got enough Sekiro and Chocobo Mystery Dungeon at this point that, like, I don't think I have to worry about content, which is nice. Let's see. So that leaves me with uh, Blaster Master Zero Two, 
Messenger and Satisfactory that I gotta record. And then new games tomorrow. Because I've got several new games that are coming out and I... Either they're coming out tomorrow or the day after. I'll have to double check the timing. Let's see. We want to go back this direction. Let's see, two more zones before the game opens up. Got it. Yeah, the main problem is just like... I think it's relative. I'd have to check the views, but if I remember it, it's semi-underperforming. And the problem is I've actually got a number of like really underperforming series right now. On the YouTube side of things. And so... Like, this is the... You know, I've been trying to be a little bit more, uh... Or less picky-choosy and just kind of finishing everything that I start. Uh... But... It's tough. Because I think Graveyard Keeper and Astroneer are getting utterly garbage views. Blaster Master ain't doing great. I was kind of surprised about that, but... It's an edge case indie game that looks like it's from the SNES era, so it doesn't surprise me that much. Might as well do slow burner on her. Did I not? Why can't I power attack him? Oh, I got rid of it. Uh, let's see, abilities. Shortcuts, reset. Power smack. Slow burner. There we go. Let's see, something on the weirder side, but super interesting, is Fight Crab. I vaguely remember hearing about Fight Crab. I don't know if I'm going to have time for it. That's my main issue. Let's see. Eh, I got nothing. It's Mackey. Well, that doesn't that didn't do much. Hey, have I seen the quick inventory swap super jetpack glitch for satisfactory? No, I haven't. I haven't seen that at all. I honestly haven't been paying attention. I more or less just played like a buttload of it on the um Oh right, I'm immune to confusion. That makes life easier. Uh I more or less played it uh when it came out on the nineteenth, and then I just haven't touched it since. I, no, actually, I did play it the, the day after. My problem is just playing Satisfactory back-to-back -back like that. I'm not going to say killed my enthusiasm for the game, but, like, I like it, but I got other stuff to play. And, like, oh, God, 20 hours of one game. Okay, maybe not 20 ho hours. How much was it? It was, like, 9, 10 hours the first day, and then, like, 6 the next? I was pretty tired of Pokemon Mi Oh, not Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I was pretty tired of Satisfactory by the time I was done. Let's see, my equipment was cursed. That's fine. I'm not really planning on taking it off anyway. Whammo. That does a lot of damage. Should probably just eat some Gessel Greens. Maybe if he greens. Well, that worked out. I'm going to stay away from those. Damn it. You thought you could escape me. This was a mistake. Let's see. Let's see. Mummy Demastered is another fun Metroidvania. Yeah, it's been on my list forever. The only reason why I've never covered it is because it's like always 20 bucks. I don't think I've ever seen it go on sale. Though I might have bought it, actually. For... I think I did buy it uh, in the end for the Christmas sale.
So I think, I think especially with games like The Messenger, that might be a little bit more of like a when I can do it series until I finish it. Because I'd like to play every major decent Metroidvania out there. I guess kind of in the same vein as, uh... I was, I was starting a series on, on Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which I should go back and finish at some point. So are you on hard mode? Nope! I have no interest in, in losing my equipment. That would just be a time... That'd be a waste of time. My saddle has been cursed. Oh well. How much do I need for the next level? Eh, it's okay. It's a blind trap, but I am unaffected! Get away from me, you. Okay, terribly a few greens. Yum! Stinky greens. It is amusing having a pocket healer, so I just don't care about damage as much. Treasure talons? Okay, that sounds interesting. They're probably just worth more, but it'd be cool if they gave me, uh, if they made, like, loot drops better. Bango, bongo. Oh, Ice Dragon. Ow! Shit, he's got Blazaga. Let's see. Eh. Oh, did it drop? It dropped JP for me. That is actually a decent chunk of JP. Yeah, this should make it easier. Probably heal at some point. Let's see, so what is the general point of this game? Mild amounts of grinding with a thinly veiled plot. Well, I guess the plot on this isn't terrible. It's like, effectively, everybody went super amnesia mode, almost willingly. And it seems like there's some kind of dark-ish reason why. I'm not really sure. Ah, oh. Actually, I don't think I had a whole lot of SP to begin with. So it's not so bad. Let's see. Started watching your channel because you wanted to see more obscure roguelikes. Oh, welcome! Uh, I don't think I'm playing any obscure roguelikes today. No, I don't think I'm gonna have any energy for like Wizard of Legend or Hades. Cause those are the, those are the other two that I need to record before I leave for my trip. And honestly, I think I'd rather do those than the Messenger right now. Maybe I don't know. The Messenger soundtrack is. Beautiful, though. I was listening to that while cooking. Made no sense, but like, whatever. Oh, no. And do we have any other really cool roguelikes coming out anytime soon? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Mostly it's like... Uh, I guess I wouldn't say roguelike adjacent. I'm just excited for Outward. That's coming out tomorrow night? I hope it's coming out tomorrow night, because that... That's one of those games that I've been really looking forward to. Okay, this guy sucks, so let's slow burner him. Ah, uh, oh. Interesting. You can now bring Ice Dragon along. Cool. Let's see, isn't the general point to play Chocobo dress up for this game? Uh, mildly. <laughs> Probably just kill a bit of time, get our SP back. 
don't actually have to fight these guys, but like... I feel like I should. Oh, Circle Slash is a, uh, is one SP only. That makes my life a little easier. There we go. And we get a job level. Sweet. Aegis Shield. Protect and temporarily reduce physical damage. Interesting. Let's see, Wanda has a YouTube channel? Oh yeah! No, uh, my YouTube channel is actually my main act. Co sort of? I mean, it probably seems like I'm a streamer first, but that is actually quite false. I will, I generally always will be a YouTuber first and foremost. Uh, it's a little bit more consistent and pays better. It's weird to think of YouTube paying better, but like it does. Twitch is hard to grow on and hard to make a lot of money on, um, unless you're really committed to certain games and things and whatnot. Uh, and I'm much more of just a generalist act, and so between the both of them, I can more or less do whatever the heck I want, and it just works great for me. Let's see. Because, yeah, I could I could be one of those channels that does nothing but, like, I'm just going to play Dead by Daylight for the next, like, year. And then everybody gets, you know, really into that. And then I switch games and everybody's like, eh. Or I could just be me. You dead. Let's see. Level 30! Yay! You get out of here. But yeah, honestly, if you want to find my YouTube channel, straight up just Google Wanderbot. You're probably going to get my Twitch, uh, Twitch channel second. Be my assumption. Okay, very iffy greens. Miscellaneous gaudy color collar. Well uh, let's see. Items. Very iffy greens. Yum yum. Oh, it's just it's just Gessel greens. Why is that very iffy? That doesn't what I could be on my two thousandth episode of Isaac. I recorded a fair chunk of uh binding of Isaac. But no, I could never do I could never do what uh, Northern Lion did with his channel. Honestly, playing one game that much I think would drive me up the walls. I got mad respect though that he can he could manage to make those entertaining. I think he switched over to Slay the Spire at this point. Googling Wander leads to your Twitter second, actually. Really? Twitch is nowhere near the top of search results. Interesting. I don't know how, the, how SEO works for stuff like this, but then again, most people aren't Googling for me on Twitch. Probably, maybe. I don't really, I should probably like, put up some kind of announcement being like, Hey, I stream on Twitch. It should be obvious, but no, no, no. Okay, oof. It's gonna be a while to get up to the next rank. Though not so bad anymore. Uh, let's see. Castle Grains. And yeah, technically my YouTube handle is WanderBots, but... I can't imagine most people aren't going to be able to find me just by Googling... While Googling it. Hey, max SP is up. Uh, let's see. Do we want to... What do we want to do? Do we want to do anything with this? I can't change my equipment. Oh. No, my items are not 
identified. Do we want to switch jobs? I'm probably fine with Knight. Yeah, especially because Knight has that slow move. 